Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we review Midnight Special right here on dorklessons.com. All right, Midnight Special, this is a treat for you sci fi fans. Jeff Nichols, who also made Mud and Take Shelter, this guy really channels his inner Spielberg and Carpenter to bring you his best rendition of E.T., Starman, Close Encounters, Mercury Rising, and probably a couple other 80s sci-fi movies I don't remember at the moment, but they're all in there. I think you put them all into a pot, stirred it up real good, and now you got yourself a stew, and we do. Okay, the movie starts off pretty mysterious. You've got a man who's on the run with an eight-year-old boy who just so happens to have special powers. And so you've got these people that are after him, and not just people, uh, you've got these groups that are after him, you've got the government that's after them. So, so there's like a lot of tension building uh, in the movie. However, that being said, uh, Nichols really focuses on the fantastic aspect of it and the awe building and the mystery building uh, in this movie and it's it's actually pretty fantastic while you're watching it. You couple that with fantastic performances from the actors. You've got Michael Shannon in there. You've got Kirsten Dunst. You got Joel Edgerton. Uh, you've got Adam Driver. Kylo, yo! Yeah, Kylo. Kylo is in it, um, but he's not breaking anything, so that's cool. Whatever. And Jaden Lieberer. I hope I said that right. I think that's right. Jaden Lieberer. Erber, close enough. That's this is the eight-year-old boy who's who's in the movie, and this guy, this kid, is uh, is pretty fantastic. His he's got a demeanor about him, and he also has this intensity about the way that he acts. It's he he has like this kind of flat, but also the flat has meaning. Imagine that, uh, but it works out pretty awesome. Uh, and his interaction with Michael Shannon in particular, it's a, it's you can almost really feel the relationship that they have, and they've done, uh, they did really well with that. I liked it. Jaden Lieberer, uh, even though he didn't have all that much to work with, what he did work with, he worked pretty fantastically. The thing is, when you have a young actor, it doesn't always translate well on the screen, and Jaden's presence uh, really commands the scenes that he does have content to command. And not only does he do it effectively, but more importantly, he does it believably. And the cast really, the rest of the cast really provides a, a great environment for him to thrive in. So uh, congrats to them as well. I, I like a particular aspect of the movie where the portrayal of the people that react to this kid who has these special powers. Uh, you've got one faction that you know, goes completely fanatical about it. And then you have this other faction that just completely sees fear and the potential of, you know, destruction and all this other kind of stuff. So it's interesting to see the, the dichotomy between the types of people that are out there in this type of uh, situation. Good stuff. Nichols keeps the movie going at a satisfying pace. Uh, I, I never found myself really bored in it. He rarely veers off into unnecessary subplots, so that's a good part of the movie. You won't find yourself, you know, confused very often, and he keeps it very direct. The only real complaint I have here is the movie builds a lot of mystery. It builds and builds and builds and builds to the point where you're expecting something fantastic at the end. There's a lot of promise in this movie that I'm not quite sure delivered at the end. You're left feeling a little empty at the end of the movie because you want to know so much more about what just happened. But then again, that may be the point. Although the payoff may not be what you expect, Midnight Special is still a very solid entry into the sci-fi genre. It pays amazing homage to some of the greats, as well as sneaking in just a little bit of a story about family. You might find yourself enjoying it. I gave it a 3 out of 5. This is Dorky Diggity Dave. We just reviewed Midnight Special. Remember, stay dorky. Loud neighbors, necessary subplots, uh, 